everyone. This is going to be our project today for this new ASMR Minecraft tutorial, the giant tyrannosaur. We are going to build it block by block in about 50 minutes. And to begin with, to help you reproduce what I'm going to build, we're going to pile up 20 blocks of glass stone, 20, and this is going to be more or less the center of the structure. So I'm going to quickly sketch like uh, a pelvis above, and we will connect the legs and the spine to it. You will essentially need black or gray wood. I've picked a light grey wool this time to make this. Now I'm quickly sketching the spine of uh, this dinosaur. And one thing we're going to pay a lot of attention to in this uh, tutorial is to suggest the movement, even though we are just going to make a, a skeleton. We want it to look like the structures exposed in natural history museums. So the legs, for example, are not going to be uh, symmetrical. And we're going to suggest that the dinosaur is uh, about to start walking. So for the first of the two legs, we're just going to, I'm changing the weather, so we're just going to um, make the tip of the toes be in contact with the ground, and the second leg, the second leg will be uh, more firmly uh, grounded. So I'm uh, making three toes and there's going to be a fourth one, smaller, at the back. But here we're going to uh, try and uh, give a sense that this leg is uh, being lifted from the ground. So this is why I'm uh, reducing to the max the part that is in contact with the grass. I've uh, watched a couple of pictures before making this tutorial and it appears that the legs of tyrannosaurs had uh, two articulations, not uh, just one like uh, our legs. And this is also something we are going to take into account. So now I'm bit by bit starting to uh, build up this leg. If you are unfamiliar with uh, ASMR and wondering why I am speaking softly like this, I invite you to do a bit of research. And if you like this, this uh, little temple that you see in the background is the project we made in another tutorial I made a few weeks ago and I will uh, put a link to it at the bottom. This is the fourth uh, claw or toe that I wanted to add and we make it like this to uh, also suggest movement and avoid that the structure looks too uh, static. Of course you don't need to uh, exactly put the blocks where I put them. I'm not really um, working with a, a model here, just reproducing what I've seen more or less on uh, pictures. 
also if you want to see more uh, dinosaurs or animals like this in Minecraft I will provide a link to uh, another video I had made about the uh, Imperial City because we had built uh, a natural history museum in this uh, Minecraft world and uh, if you uh, watch the video or download the map you will see uh, more animals including another tyrannosaur that I had built for the museum rather similar to this one so I've made my uh, two articulations and now we have this uh, feeling the impression that this leg is being uh, lifted from the ground which is uh, what we wanted to suggest uh, movement I will have probably to uh, uh, correct some uh, mistakes and come back to what I have done before in this tutorial but uh, I have a quite clear idea of uh, where we are going so let's begin with the second leg now and as I said before we don't want it to be symmetrical but we're going to uh, suggest the dinosaur is walking so uh, a bit further from the central axis I'm going to build three other uh, toes but these ones with uh, a more important uh, surface of contact with the ground I hope it is not too difficult uh, to uh, follow this because you have to think a little bit in uh, 3D so I'm trying to do it relatively slowly so here again I'm going to uh, put a fourth toe like this and we will add uh, clouds a bit uh, later I think I am also going to ramble a bit about tyrannosaurs and dinosaurs in this video because I think what you uh, see on screen speaks for itself and I don't need to uh, describe everything I do and uh, I suppose many of you like me when I was a kid liked uh, dinosaurs a lot generally uh, boys find them super cool which was uh, obviously my case too now I have made uh, the second articulation of this uh, leg I have also seen on pictures that in their legs tyrannosaurs had two uh, big bones which I am also more or less trying to uh, reproduce here but obviously this is not very accurate so you see that I'm trying to uh, reproduce like uh, a slope and make it uh, different from the other leg so that when we uh, watch the two now this is connected with the pelvis we have this uh, impression that the creature is uh, walking this articulation is a bit too big so get it and now the legs look uh, a little thin so I'm going to add a few blocks here and there to make them to make them look more uh, solid and able to uh, support the body because this is going to
going to be a fairly large structure. So now we have our legs and as I said we're going to add something for the clouds. I'm going to try with fences maybe. Um, maybe cobblestone fences could be a good work too. It's worth trying. So here I'm just adding uh, clouds like this. small I think we're going to make them bigger this is more credible okay maybe we will come back to the legs later but we are fine for now and we're going to begin with the upper part of the structure so uh, once again it's about realism and uh, movement and before we start with uh, any uh, detail what we want is the structure to look balanced, realistic and we also want to uh, avoid something too uh, static so what I'm doing now is uh, suggesting the movement that the tail is going to have by making lines of blocks shorter and shorter which will give uh, the tail like a, a realistic uh, feel you see it looks uh, okay now we are just above where the thorax is going to be and I keep uh, adding blocks to the spine to uh, progressively uh, advance towards the head I've not been able to uh, find the option to uh, avoid uh, rain and storms and also if it was possible to stop the time and avoid uh, the night I would be uh, delighted so if anyone knows how to do that I'm interested okay so that's just uh, a sketch and now we need to uh, turn this uh, uh, line which represents the spine into uh, like vertebras so I'm uh, adding blocks to uh, transform what is just a line of blocks to turn it into a uh, like a cross we will add uh, other elements later but you see that on the sides above and below each of the blocks I had put before I'm adding uh, another block to make uh, like a cross and this is going to uh, represent uh, the vertebras another choice I have made for my tutorials until now is to uh, record first to uh, shoot and then record the, uh, the the audio because I want to eliminate all of the clicking and the keyboard sounds which I personally find rather annoying but once again it's uh, up to you too so if some of you want to have these uh, kind of sounds just let me know in the comments and I will uh, maybe uh, keep them for another tutorial uh, sorry I've been uh, I made a couple of 
mistake, so I'm cleaning this up now. There's another one here and here. I think now it's more or less okay. At the end of the tail, I uh, stop with this uh, cross pattern and just uh, add one or two blocks so that the tail becomes uh, thinner in the end. You know that uh, when the first remains of uh, tyrannosaurs and other dinosaurs were discovered, they were imagined and represented in museums with the fossils very differently from what we know about them today. For example, uh, most of the large uh, predators like the tyrannosaurs were represented uh, standing straight but with the, uh, the discoveries that paleontologists made in the past 20-30 years, this has been uh, reconsidered. And now we tend to think that the tyrannosaurs were probably uh, not standing that straight. And uh, more like I am building today rather horizontal with uh, the tail helping to balance the weight of the uh, of the head and uh, the rest of the body and actually I said they were predators but that's another uncertain thing because it is still uh, unclear whether they hunted their prey or if they were scavengers waiting for other large dinosaurs to die and uh, eat their bodies maybe they were a bit of both so I'm finishing this, uh, this series of vertebras which obviously give uh, the spine of the dinosaur a much more solid um, and thick look. As I said, we will probably add more things because we want the spine to look stronger. the head and uh, the back of the creature and look uh, thinner at the end of the tail so we will add more elements later to uh, suggest this but before thinking about details whatever the structure you want to build you first need to think about the general look the balance of the shapes volume, which is much more important than the, the details. Okay, so now we are more or less done with this. I uh, correct a couple of mistakes. There is something wrong here. I'm also going to fix that. slightly differently if you want but the idea is just that you need to get a realistic kind of curve and this means uh, aligning with uh, a little difference of one or two blocks various uh, series of crosses like this so that the, the curve looks uh, credible. Okay, this.
this looks this looks fine so as I said we're going to add a, a few elements and this is the part where the spine needs to look uh, the strongest so every two blocks I add another one above and then I will do the same below to uh, suggest that this is a part where the spine is uh, thicker and stronger and I, uh, and I stop about 10-15 blocks before the end of the tail so now I'm doing the same suggestions and comments so if there is uh, any particular structure you would like me to uh, make a tutorial about just uh, let me know and uh, I will uh, consider this okay this looks uh, better now I will keep the end uh, the, the head for the end of the video. So now we're going to uh, begin with the ribs and try to make uh, a good looking thorax for the creature. So three blocks, three horizontal blocks. I'm making three ribs that are going to be identical. This is the, the middle of this cage we're going to uh, to build and uh, you see how I am going down after uh, these uh, blocks that are alone I'm putting two blocks two blocks down and now I'm going to put more let's say uh, about four This makes the curve of the ribs look uh, rather realistic. Now I'm starting to uh, come back towards uh, the center. And uh, we're not going to uh, connect the ribs the central part, the sternum, that connects the ribs on a, a, an actual uh, or connected the ribs on a, a dinosaur or a human being was made of uh, cartilage and this uh, generally disappeared in fossils. So we are, we are good with this uh, shape of the ribs, they don't seem uh, too round, but we have something that reproduces uh, realistically the shape of the thorax. And now I'm going to make exactly the same thing on the other side. Like I said when uh, we made the, the temple the other time, this could be faster with uh, in-game mode with um, code to uh, copy and paste things because this part of the dinosaur is uh, symmetrical and we could make only one of these ribs and copy it several times change the material. I think you can use uh, darker wool. It could look good also with uh, dark grey wool. I think not so much
research in uh, cobblestone or other materials but just with uh, the basic stone blocks you would have a good option okay now I'm finishing them and we're going to uh, continue the thorax with other ribs but they're going to be uh, smaller So you see I leave a, a space of one block between each rib. I could keep a space of uh, two blocks, but I think uh, the density of ribs would be uh, insufficient. So, But that's an option also if you want to do things uh, a bit uh, differently. So for uh, this one, I'm going to do it shorter but I uh, make it stop more or less at the same uh, um, level the same place than uh, the previous one and I'm uh, doing the same uh, on the other side I guess this tutorial may be a bit more difficult to uh, follow than the other one I had made because this is more uh, complicated to uh, visualize and reproduce. Let me uh, also know if you think this is going too fast or not fast enough maybe so that I can uh, adjust for future uh, Minecraft tutorials. I've been pleasantly surprised by your reactions to the first one I had made. Okay, yet another rib, and uh, I keep reducing their size. I am not going to do it this time, but it can also make sense to put uh, torches here and there on the structure if you want it to be uh, illuminated at night and also if you want to uh, add a bit more uh, contrast in colors which can uh, even with uh, daylight improve um, the, the visual aspect so I'm slightly modifying this one because it was too short and now we are starting to have something that looks like uh, the dinosaurs I'll keep the head to uh, finish the structure because obviously it's going to be very important for uh, the look of our uh, tyrannosaur On the, uh, on the back part of the thorax I'm following uh, exactly the same uh, approach making uh, more ribs that are shorter and shorter you can also use this technique if you want to make uh, the skeleton of a whale and uh, many uh, other kind of dinosaurs okay I think with uh, two or three more we should be uh, we should be done with this part and we will be uh, able to move to uh, the head and uh, various uh, little uh, details that we will add before we uh, finish the structure so here I'm going to make uh, another one 
this part you can uh, improvise you don't need it to be perfectly identical to what I do it's a big uh, advantage when you make big structures one single block is not going to uh, spoil or change the entire structure it gives you much more room for creativity and uh, it also helps to uh, hide some little mistakes that you could make and now the last ones which we are going to make uh, very small just like this and that should be uh, that should be enough okay so i think i uh, i rather like the the look of this uh, thorax but now the pelvis and the, the connection between the legs and uh, the spine looks relatively small and fragile so uh, to fix that we're going to add blocks and volume in this part so that it won't look uh, that unreal like uh, right now in this part it's a uh, important to uh, keep the, the symmetry okay it looks uh, slightly uh, slightly better now even though we could use uh, a bit more a bit more blocks but I'll see that later maybe extend slightly uh, the thorax which looks a bit small central part okay coming back to uh, the day again and now I think we are going to extend uh, the vertebras a little bit we don't want the head to look uh, stuck directly to the ribs that would be a, a bit ridiculous so I'm adding uh, a few other of these uh, crosses and just uh, before we build the head we're going to make this uh, go up as if uh, the creature was uh, looking up start with the head and once again to help you uh, reproduce this I'm going to add 10 to 12 glowstone blocks just to uh, see the, the dimensions of the head we're going to build I think I'm going to slightly exaggerate the side uh, the size of the head to make the creature looks uh, cool look cooler okay so 12 blocks and then you go down five blocks and the lower limit is going to be where the jaw um, finishes because we want it to uh, have its uh, its mouth opened and we 
also want the uh, upper jaw to be uh, significantly wider than the lower one which is going to give uh, a cool uh, effect so this is the the end of the of the lower jaw we will add uh, teeth after that and once again I'm uh, doing things maybe uh, a bit random and I will fix uh, things that do not look good later it's important when we are trying to uh, make a structure of this kind even if you don't exactly know what you're doing once you have uh, determined the, the proportions and you really start building the thing just uh, try to add blocks as if you were making a sculpture and it will uh, become much less difficult at least you will have uh, something you can progressively uh, modify and fix to uh, obtain what you want part of the jaw with uh, the neck this is the, the back of the head and now we can uh, get rid of these uh, glassstone blocks and begin with the, the upper part of the head I'm not 100% satisfied with uh, the shape of this but that could be uh, fixed uh, later I think so once again to help you five yes or maybe six yes six glassstone blocks and as I said we want uh, the uh, this part of the head to be significantly bigger so six glassstone blocks up and uh, two ones more towards the front and then you start um, building the rest of the head we want to give the impression that the two jaws are centered and about to close okay I guess now you are starting to uh, better see what I want to make So on this uh, part of the head we want the, the slope to be uh, much softer than on the lower part This is really just a sketch then we're going to refine things and add uh, details going also to uh, let uh, holes to suggest the nose of the creature and uh, the eyes too okay so that's going to be the back of the head and we will need to uh, rework the connection between the spine and the head these uh, little holes that I have left above are going to be for the eyes but we will uh, probably modify that okay we also want to leave two holes for the nose and remember this is just a, a skeleton so we don't need to reproduce everything 
we just need to give a sense that uh, if covered with flesh, the creature would be a dinosaur. I guess that would be uh, the holes for the nose, but they could be slightly more at the front. I'm going to look at the result and maybe change that. would be better positioned like this you know that there are still uh, uncertainties about what the tyrannosaurs look like their color for example we don't know so most of the time they are represented with uh, a lizard like color green or brown but maybe they were much more colored than that. There is even uh, an hypothesis saying that they might have had uh, feathers. We don't uh, exactly know. Okay, and the back of the head uh, of the skull has to be a bit more voluminous than that. We need uh, to add uh, more volume at the back and also uh, at blocks where uh, the two jaws connect because they look uh, that that looks very fragile at the moment. So once again, I I'm adding uh, blocks a bit randomly and then I check whether uh, it works or not. use more okay that's better now uh, the top of the head is not very satisfactory so we need to add blocks uh, behind Yes, that's much better now. Okay. And we're going to add a big teeth inside the mouth. I'm still not very happy with the general shape of the head. It has improved but it looks a, a bit too much like a bird. We're going to see what it looks like with teeth and then we will uh, probably uh, modify various things. using also uh, these cobblestone fences for the teeth. It looks good with... Uh, yeah, I think it's okay. But we need to uh, change the jaw a little bit. it's better and the end of the jaw looks uh, fairly bad still but we're going to fix it ok, more teeth the rain is really uh, annoying please if someone knows how to avoid it 
maybe uh, I have a, a mod to install, I don't know, but let me know. Um, okay. Okay, that looks much better. But now I wanted to put the holes for the nose a bit more uh, at the forefront. Like this. That's better. Okay, we have something that increasingly looks like a, a dinosaur now. Even though something has to be done with the uh, lower jaw. I'm adding these glassstone blocks for the eyes. We're going to check if this looks good. Mm, not bad. And now I think it's because this is going down too fast. Should be better this way. Okay, yes, much, much better. Cool. Okay, now uh, the arms are missing. We're going to uh, add them and uh, fix them to uh, one of these uh, large ribs, the largest ones. And that's very simple because the these uh, these arms were very small. So make this with uh, little claws. We're going to make uh, exactly the same on the uh, on the other side. Maybe they're a bit too long. I don't know. No, it looks fine. So the same four blocks, and then three times two blocks. stone uh, fences. Okay, this part of the neck looks uh, a bit too weak, so now I'm going to add uh, a few more blocks to reinforce it. And give a sense that it is uh, strong enough to uh, support, to stand the weight of the head. And we're going to add a bit of volume to uh, the back just by adding uh, another block to each uh, of these vertebras that we had made before. An option, if you want to try, would be to make these uh, vertebras much higher. Yes, and we uh, get this because we want uh, the tail to look to look much uh, thinner. Okay, I think we are more or less down now. I'm not a hundred percent satisfied with, uh, uh, especially the connection of the legs with the body. I think the legs could be slightly bigger. And uh, maybe they could be slightly more uh, towards the, the front of the creature because uh, all the tail could be longer, maybe. 
or we could say this is not a tyrannosaur but rather a velociraptor or a smaller dinosaur but it looks uh, fairly cool I think so uh, I hope that you found this uh, tutorial uh, interesting I'm going to put a bit of sun and uh, I also have to uh, eliminate these glassstone blocks in the center so I uh, hope you uh, had a good time watching this, uh, this tutorial and uh, as always I'd be happy to read your comments and uh, suggestions for future uh, videos so uh, bye bye and uh, see you soon for a new video. Au revoir.